show you how I make my green enchiladas. Put your chicken to boil. Now flavor your meat with onion, garlic, and bay leaves, and some salt. Now cover and cook for an hour and 20 minutes. Saute your green tomatillos and garlic, some white onion, and some jalapenos that are already clean and deveined. And make sure you saute them really well. Transfer everything in a blender. Cilantro and chicken bouillon. A little bit of lettuce. And a spoonful of sour cream. One cup of chicken broth. And you blend. Pour in a pan and boil for 20 minutes. You want it to bubble like this. Shred your chicken. Some yellow corn tortillas. Slightly fry your tortilla. While it's hot, dip it into the sauce. Now double dip again and start your preparation. Add some chicken. Now roll it up nice and tight. And we're almost done. Look at this, beautiful. Add some more salsa. Add some lettuce. Queso fresco. Cilantro. Don't forget the crema. Y listo. This is my suegra's famous recipe. This is the perfect salsa de molcajete for your tacos dorados. This is how you want it. Look how beautiful this is. Peel and add your tomatillos into your hot pan. Roast your chile de árbol and some garlic. And make sure that they have that nice char. Once the chile is nice and toasty, pull it out and also the garlic. Put the chiles and the garlic into the molcajete. Add some salt and you start smashing really well. To start looking like this, start adding your tomatillos. Mash three at a time. By mashing the tomatillos a couple at a time, you get the perfect blend. Just like this. It should be chunky like this. Cilantro. Add to your salsa. Onion. Add the onion to the salsa. And you slowly start bringing everything in. And of course, the chicken bouillon. Fry some taquitos. Now that you have your taquitos ready, start adding your salsa. Again, guys, this is the perfect salsa for your tacos dorados. Add more cheese. Y listo. And enjoy. How to make good bomb ass birria. Boil for two hours. So in the pot, I threw in a whole head of onion, two bay leaves, and eight of the garlic cloves. So for six pounds of meat, you're gonna need 20 California chilies. You're gonna need two pasilla. You're gonna need six of the chile puya. And this, the chile de árbol is optional. I just grab a, a pinch full of it. Make sure you take all your seeds and little stems. Okay, so you're gonna boil all your chilies for like 30 minutes. So in your chile, you're gonna add all these spices. So in the chiles, I'm gonna blend all my spices and I also put some vinegar. You're also gonna to want to add some beef juice into your mix. So you pour all your chile into the meat. Done. Chop. Add cilantro, cebolla, and some lemon. Lastly, get your quesa taco, dunk it in, and enjoy. Let's make some carne asada quesa tacos. Marinate your meat like I've showed you. Put your meat on a hot skillet. The meat is ready. In the same skillet, throw some jalapeno peppers, some green onions. Make sure you saute them pretty well. Have some guacamole ready. These are ready. And the chiles should look like this. Chop some meat. And we are going to be using some nice homemade tortillas. Put your tortilla on a skillet. Add lots of cheese and lots of meat. And now you fold. After you flip twice, this is ready. Beautiful! Add some guacamole on the top. Add your rabano, your chile toreado, your cebollita, and lastly, your crema. ¡Y listo! Now let's try. Mmm. mole and this is all you have well let me show you how to spice it up put it in your blend cook your chicken for an hour and a half and make sure you add bone because that's what gives it the flavor get some of the chicken broth and put it in your blender add some onion you want to add the whole clove the whole pepper and cloves of garlic toasted sesame seeds and some ritz guess what i'm adding yes my chile de arbol and the chicken bouillon and you blend heat up your pan and add some oil now you add your mole and you just cook it for a little bit just like this once it starts bubbling you add some more broth and don't stop mixing until well blended once you have your desired thickness you start adding your chicken beautiful now cover the chicken in your mole boil for another five minutes to get that sazon take a white rice now you serve sprinkle some sesame seeds 
Y listo. I'm going to show you how to make costillita de res when you don't even have fresh green tomatoes. You're going to need costillita de res just like this. Cut your pieces small like this. Throw it in the hot skillet. Add your salt. All right, so you see that water and oil here? You just make sure the meat soaks it up so you keep on stirring. All right, guys, since I didn't have the fresh green tomatoes, I'm going to use a jarred, but I'm going to spice it up. You pour all of it. Three serranos. But wait, before I finish my salsa, I throw in the onion and the garlic. More onion and more garlic. A bunch of cilantro. Chicken bouillon. Your costillita should be looking like this. Then. What the? Now you blend. Drain your oil and add your sauce. Add water to your blender. And onto your meat. More cilantro, more onion. Oh, yes. Cover. Listo! Pour over rice. Enjoy! This is how I make my cilantro rice. Two cups basmati rice. Slightly fry it in two tablespoons of liquid shortening. Peel some garlic just like this and look how easy the shell comes off. You're gonna need a piece of onion just like that. I'll fry it in the rice. Two cups of water and another two cups. So a total of four cups of water. You're gonna be needing the nor cilantro seasoning. Peel and put in your rice. Make sure that you dissolve it really well. Chop some cilantro and you add it to your rice. Now cover and lower your heat and cook for 30 minutes. Now let's check on the rice. Beautiful! Just look how fluffy this is. Serve your rice and your crusty mustard chuleta. And this is the famous lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise salad. Listo! And enjoy. Mm -hmm.